If you've got a remote control for your car where the buttons are absolutely knackered on the casing and perhaps you've also uh, damaged the switch on the board below because you've been pressing the switch directly or maybe the switches went funny anyway even before the casing did. Well let me show you how to change the switches on the uh, on the board. Once you've got the PCB out of your remote control find some way of holding it steady. This is a simple suction vise grips onto any smooth work surface and the position is adjustable and you will need a soldering iron and then either a small pair of fine nose pliers or a pair of tweezers. A cheap magnifier of some description is also very handy. I've seen videos where people are chasing the PCB around with their soldering iron and tweezers. In particular when you're putting the replacement switch on you'll, you'll never get it in the right place when you're doing that. Very amateurish. Or even just get somebody to hold it on the work surface. You'll need a soldering iron that's got a fine tip. If it's got temperature setting on it, set it at a medium high setting and leave it for a good five minutes or so to warm up. With your tweezers or your fine nose pliers, grip the switch end to end and then put your soldering iron on the contact for about three seconds and lift that end and then do the same at the other end. If you're getting value from this video, please be sure to like it down by the title. These are the new switches that I've got for this remote. They have one contact at each end. Some switches have four contacts, depends on what remote you've got. But make sure you buy the right switches for your remote. With a small screwdriver or a tiny paintbrush, dab a small bit of flux, plumber's active flux will do the trick, onto each of the solder pads. With your tweezers or your fine nose pliers, bring your new switch and slot it into position and make sure you've got it in the right place with each contact on top of the little uh, solder pad. It is exceedingly fiddly, but make sure to get to hold the switch down in its correct position and then bring your solder iron onto the contact, melt the solder, take your solder iron away. That won't take more than two or three seconds. Do that on both contacts. I'll put links down in the description. Even if you have to buy a soldering iron to do this yourself, you'll still save loads of money in comparison to buying a brand new remote. You can buy the switches separately for most remote controls, but often you can buy them in a package with a new case for your remote. And while you're at it, I'd suggest putting a new battery in. Buy the best quality battery that you can. If I've saved you some money, time or hassle, please consider supporting the channel and I shall see you next time.